Hey guys, and welcome back to my What's in My Purse purse Organization, What's in My Bag Purse Organization series. And today I am going to show you how I organize and what I keep in my medium sized purses, which are generally crossbody, long strap style. Um, I don't really have any shoulder bags that are this size. They're mostly, um, you know, bigger like my tote bags. But this would, I would definitely organize them in a similar way. Um, so there are a couple of things that I must do when I'm going to carry a purse like this. Some of the things live in here all the time, which you'll see, but I do need to transfer some things from my bag I use most frequently, which happens to be my tote bag, into here. So one of them would be the contents of my wallet. Now in some situations, I can just take the wallet from my tote bag and put it in the, my medium sized bag. This is one of my smaller medium sized bags so I can't do that. I'm actually using a different wallet so I'd actually have to take my cards and, and important things out and put them in that wallet that I have in this bag. Um, but generally I like to use one wallet and just change them in between bags if that makes sense. But this is like my, my biggest wallet um, and I do change out my wallets almost as often as I change out my purses. So there's that. Um, another thing is obviously my cell phone. So I'm going to put that in its spot here. And um, my keys. And my little reusable shopper bag. Now I could totally buy another one of these. But if I'm already you know, changing things out from one purse to another, a couple of things at least, I feel like it's okay to um, do that. So here we go. We're going to start from the beginning, give you a look. I'm actually, I think I'm going to, um, is this going to make a racket? Probably, but whatever. I'm, I apologize for any noise that the cord makes. So right here I'm using, uh, currently for summer, uh, Rebecca Minkoff crossbody. This is a MAC style bag. It's uh, like a leather weave. It does have a pocket in the front here. I honestly don't use it because I find it kind of annoying um, and not really... You know, I like the way this, this part of the bag looks, but I don't, I don't like using this part of the bag because I find it really hard to get to things. It has a big main pocket, which I'll show you, and then a back slip pocket, and that's where I keep my phone for this bag. I just find it's easier. This part rests against my body, so it's like, you know, it's down in there. It's okay. I also, before I forget, have a couple of doggy bags in here. And I usually have some in my tote bag too, but for some reason I was out this time when I just filmed that video, so sorry if I'm getting distracted. So that's what I keep in the outside pockets. Nothing in the front, in my phone, and some doggy bags in the back. Now the inside is um, has a zipper pocket on one side and then two slip pockets on the other, and I'll get into the contents in a minute. But you can see I have this pretty packed pretty tight I have a really big keychain at the moment, um, so that ends up taking up a lot of room. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that out so you guys can see a bit better, but that just kind of snugs and snuggles down into the side there. And now you can really see more how the bag is organized. Again, just like in my tote size bag, I, I organize with cases, especially when it's a tighter fit like this. Even, it's almost... It's the same idea with a different effect. So for instance, with the tote size bags, I like having things in cases so I don't lose things. Um, you know, they don't get like jumbled in and get like hard to find because it's such a big space. In this size bag, I like having things in cases so I can fit more in the bag. And um, again, they're easily ac accessible. So like I mentioned, in this case, I'm carrying a smaller wallet. Although this is the first time that I've had two wallets at one time going on for my like daytime kinds of bags and I thought it would be more annoying than it is to switch out the cards and stuff but it really only takes like a minute or two to do the switch and then I'll, I'll wear this bag for a few days. Um, I probably wear the tote bag more often though. And like I showed you I have this, this little um, reusable shopper bag which is really, really nice. And I actually unfolded it in my last video. So if you want to see what that looks like, you should watch that video. So now we're down to the nitty gritty. So I have, again, like in my big purse, I have a little um, tin with treats for my dog in it. Um, I always have dog treats and doggy bags on hand. That's what happens when you're a pet owner. And then I have two cases. So I basically have smaller versions of my 
walking pharmacy and makeup kit that I have in my tote bag in my medium sized bag. Now these are both little cases by Prada which I got as gifts along with that big plaid one that was in my, my big plaid walking pharmacy that was in my tote bag organization video. Those three were given to me as a set for my birthday, a very nice gift set, and I will treasure them for a long, long time because you guys know I love my little cases and I know I'll be using these for many, 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 many years. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have Prada cases to have like an organized purse. That just happens to be what I have. I, I like to use the things that I have, and I put these to great use because I use them on a daily basis. So that's the majority of the bag. I'm going to go into what's in the little side pockets and stuff in a second. But, let's get that out of the way. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to do an in-depth video, a separate video on my walking pharmacies. Um, I, I haven't quite decided if it's going to be more than one video yet. But this is packed full because it's a much smaller version here. I'll show you in, compar in comparison to my um, tote size one. It's just pared down a little bit. Um, I just carry more in this one because I can. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But these are, again... Things that um, I use on a daily basis or as well as things that I use on a more of like an emergency in case I need it kind of every once in a while basis. Um, so there is that. And then just like the other bag, I have a smaller um, makeup kit bag. And this has a lot fewer products in it, which you'll see in my video that I'm going to shoot that will be up soon. But it's just a smaller version, basically, of my normal makeup, uh, purse makeup bag. So that's a nice thing to have. And this also acts as, if you watched the last video where I showed my tote bag organization, you'll know that I have a little case for lip stuff. Well, this has both lip and makeup products in it, but it's a lot less things. It's more like things that I would use on a more daily basis. And that's why it's a smaller thing and combined into one bag instead of two. So, what else could I possibly have in here, you would, might say? Well, so like I said, the bag has a zip pocket in the back and then two slip pockets in the front. So I keep one slip pocket um, empty and if I'm in a situation where I want my phone to be in my bag, oh right, that's going instead of I like to keep it in the slip pocket when I'm just like out and about for easy access. But if I'm in a situation where I want my phone in my bag, it can go right there, no problem. Then on the other side, there's another slip pocket. I have some gum and another chapstick. This is a baby lips chapstick from Maybelline. I guess I always have like an extra chapstick floating around. And I usually, the ones that I have floating around are clear ones with sort of like normal smells, not terribly girly, that Don can use because he always wants chapstick and he just never carries it. So that's the reasoning behind that. I have another one of these tried in layers gum, which I talked about being my favorite, and then just a minty, um, this is a white mint gum by um, Stride. So I have a couple kinds of gum. I've got my little chapstick. And then in the zip pocket, I have some feminine products which I'm not going to pull out, um, as well as a little baggie of mints. Um, I have these little mini baggies I got at Michael's, and I keep them in my kitchen um, drawer where I keep all of my little baggies and things like that. And they're really, they really come in handy. I have these, this size and then a size smaller. So I have a little thing of mints for those moments when chewing gum is inappropriate. More doggy poopy bags, and my house keys um, also are in there. So you can see I have a lot packed in. I mean, this isn't like the world's largest bag. It's it's pretty, this is the smallest, like, this of this style bag that I have. And it has been the hardest to fit things in. But I found that what I do is I put the walking pharmacy flat, because that I use most often. And then my little makeup pouch, which I do not use quite as often, I have standing up on its side, on the side like that. Um, and that means I can fit both in comfortably because if they're one behind the other, it just gets a little bit too, like, fat, if that makes sense, in the bag. And then I put my little tin and reusable shopper and keys kind of in the side wedged up against that um, makeup bag because it's flatter. And my little wallet goes in the top. And that's everything. Everything fits very comfortably. And it's not like sticking out in weird ways or anything, you know, if it was like misshapen from like having too much stuff in it. So that is how I keep my 
medium sized bags organized and what I carry around with them. Again, if you're interested to see what I carry around in my walking pharmacies as well as in my purse makeup kits, um, you can check back um, soon for a video on those. But in the meantime, coming up next on Organize Like Jen will be a video showcasing how I organize my evening bags or clutches or small, small bags like this one. So stay tuned if you're interested. Thanks for watching you guys and take care. Bye.